And this is my bud here. Nobody. Joking. Name's Andy. Yep, and today we are going to be showing you the hybrid beta. Hybrid, and it's a beta, so it's not a full game yet. Yep, so as you can see, we're sort of moving around the map. They are, uh, the war goes on in all continents except for Antarctica. And Australia. Australia was somehow destroyed because nobody likes Australia. Which is pretty sad. I mean, <coughs> sure, I love Australia. Anyway, it looks like we're getting ready to do a game on the map called Generator. It is a team deathmatch. And uh, I'm going to show you some uh, video gaming footage. And one thing before you see this, um, actually, the makers of Hybrid are Fifth Cell. Yes, if you don't know who Fifth Cell, you've obviously never played Drunk Life or Scribble Knots. Yes, they're actually making a third-person shooter, which is very surprising, saying that they make lots of kids games. Yep, and as you can see, I'm sort of <laughs> screwing around with my loadout before the game starts, and I'm sort of a noob, so I'm going to be going with a heavy weapon during this. Uh, keep in mind, this is not all of the weapons, and this might not be entirely what the customization looks like. So we're hoping we'll actually have a character customization in itself. Yes, there's a ton and a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of weapons. Like, so many that I haven't got any. I'm already level 9. Maybe I got two in each one well you know at this point but there's a ton of weapons that I need to unlock and well there's a ton to use and we just like to have a machine gun right now so it's called the Vulcan Vulcan uh, anyways yes not the nerf gun um, anyways as you can see uh, the way you move around is pretty different you don't really move around in your own little way you sort of like move around from judging what cover you go into and pressing A I believe you could also retreat to go to B, and the only movement you ever will do other than jetpacking is strafing around in cover. There's shooting in cover, and there's shooting in the air. Most of the main battles take place in the air or in the cover. As you can see, I almost got killed. And now you're dead. Yep, oh yeah, and keep in mind, this is me playing this. My friend Andy actually had a lot more time playing the beta. He was a lot better. And also, uh, two of my friends, uh, Sean Freeman and uh, Matt Rose, were also playing this, and... Uh, Personally, I think I did better. All right. Um, the main story, which is really interesting, is that there is no main story. Surprise! The multiplayer is the story. It's an ongoing war between two factions. The variants, which I'm playing as now. Yep. Which are the dictators and the tyr and, uh, tyrants. But, you know, I kind of side with the tyrants because they're pretty boss looking. Yep, they sort of like uh, mm. remind you of like a mix between uh, Portal and the top from Warhammer 40k. And then there's also the um, Paladins, which my friend Sean thinks for some reason they look like Spartans when they really don't. I don't know where he got that from. He says it's Portal versus Halo, but it's not. And they're the goody-goody two-shoes who think, hey, we need a democracy. But who needs democracy when you got a dictatorship? Yep, and also a little bit of a thing to tell you people, see the movie Dictator, funny stuff. Alright, another part of a uh, hybrid that I'm really, really excited about and I really like are the robots. There are three different types of robots. One is your normal stalker, and two is... The Warbringer! Warbringer, yes. The Warbringer is a really big, huge anti-infantry or anti-jetpackery, however you say that. It is a robotic tank, literally. Yeah, if you go face to face with that thing, you're gonna get blown away, like literally blown away, and fall into whatever pit is under the map. And then there's three, the third one, which is by far the scariest. Dry on. The thing emits a huge high pitched squeaking noise or e high pitched voltage that one hurts your ears and two scares the crud out of you. Yep, and uh, you'll see in the gameplay video, I actually get killed. Pretty much every time by the prion, every time there was a prion that spawned, it was either, it was us that always got killed. It was only me, Sean, and Matt that got killed, so this shows we're sort of newbie, but who cares, it's beta. Also, I'm not sure if it's just in the beta. There are a few bugs, and there's only one thing that really bugged me about the whole game. There's one map, I think it was this map or another map, that once you got into one spot, 
you know, you kind of kind of snipe everybody for the whole game, and it wasn't fun. But it was only in one game type and one certain match. So hopefully the uh, Fifth Cell developers, uh, you know, fix that, or else I'm never going to play that map ever again. It's kind of like uh, Halo Reach. Nobody ever wants to play uh, Infected on that uh, sword base. It's kind of gay once they're stuck up there and they can't get back down. Okay, back to Hybrid. Um, as you can see, there was probably a really big drone in the background. That was the Warbringer, and I think there was a drone next to me. That was probably the Stalker. And just remember, you see this big guy with a sword that sort of floats around on the map? That is a prion. You'll see him stab me in the head and the neck. He'll always grab your head to kill you, always. All right, and now it's just some raw footage of Hybrid. There's a ton of stuff to go on that I can speak in a detail, but I'll probably bore you. Never mind about that. Let's just say it anyway. So since this is our first video of Game in a Nutshell, uh, we want to sort of uh, get popularity out for our videos. So um, we have a YouTube account, as you can probably see, and in the description of this video, you will find our website with video game news, galleries, and... Uh, our logo done by me and also it'd be very nice if you could subscribe also join membership and if you join membership and email us we will tell you when we're recording and on what certain games so maybe somehow you can sneak into our videos and not just that maybe you could also give us some suggestions on games that you would like to see have a playthrough all right another big thing about gamer peanuts is we really like monster hunter or at least me and my other gamer peanut who sadly is not here Love Monster Hunter, so we will be doing a lot in Monster Hunter, so dust off your Wii and buy Monster Hunter if you don't already. It's a great game. Yes, and I wish I could join in on the action, but sadly I don't have a Wii and I don't care to buy one yet. But uh, when Xbox <laughs> does come out with Monster Hunter, and I'm talking to you, Sony, and Capcom, I will definitely play it, no doubt. Don't forget Microsoft. Microsoft also needs it too. All right, last thing. What do you think the beta is so far? How many peanuts would you rate it? Forget peanuts. I'm saying variants. I would give it a solid hmm, eight variants. Hmm. I think I would give it a nine. All right. So far, even for a beta, it's very good. All right, everybody. That was Hybrid, a very unique and different kind of multiplayer style. Hopefully, you can get it and support it when it comes out, which I will tell you in the description. So, yes. Subscribe, and don't forget, that was a game in a nutshell. Peace out.